already know what I'm doing. I'm making juice. I'm gonna just do apple, lemon, carrot, cucumber, and ginger. And then I'm going to yoga, so that's why I'm having juice only right now. Lots of ginger, like this much ginger. Half of a lemon. I can't put the whole lemon in there because I don't want to eat the peel. I'm using mini carrots. Ooh, they might be moldy. They're fine. I just rinsed them off. They probably wouldn't be good tomorrow. I hate the way they package cucumbers. Why do they need plastic on them? Okay, a whole apple. And a little bit of water. And then you need your sword to blend the juice. Your baton. What I realized is this is actually faster and easier than a juicer. Because a juicer is like a pain in the butt to clean. I'm gonna use new cheesecloth. Exciting. So you take a double layer of cheesecloth. It usually comes folded in four. I even got my friend Natalie doing this now and she loves it. So if you just unravel what you cut, so it's a single layer so you can see it, and then make it a double layer. And bam, and milk that juice. Rinse out your cheesecloth and wash it and let it air dry and it's good to go. I use mine like a bunch of times, like maybe like over 10 times. There it is. Carrot, lemon, apple, ginger, cucumber juice. This combo is my favorite. Okay, I'm back from yoga. Yes, I have no shirt on. It's too hot in here, so I apologize. <laughs> I'm putting uh, coconut milk in my coffee that I bought from Balzac and maybe some pumpkin spice syrup. So I just got an Americano and I have leftover coconut milk in the fridge. I'm gonna take some of that thick, nice stuff like that. Mmm. I've actually never done this, so it might get all lumpy. I don't really know. Oh no, it's okay. I can add a bit more. Whoops. And this pumpkin spice syrup that I got at a farmer's market last year. You should remember that the pumpkin spice at Starbucks is no longer vegan. It used to be, but it is not anymore. So you can't have that even with soy milk. You have to make your own. This is good. Oily. It's like putting coconut oil in your coffee. I'm a mess. I gotta go clean myself up. Oh my gosh, I waited way too long to eat. Now I'm like shaking and ravenous. So I'm gonna make some lunch with uh, a bunch of leftover food that I have in the fridge. And let's see what it's gonna be. Well, I knew I had leftover soup, so I'm gonna heat up leftover soup. I have so many leftovers, it's crazy. I have this random pasta salad. Cauliflower buffalo wings, leftover. Oh, I know what we're making. Okay, soup and grilled cheese, because I have field roast, KO cheddar cheese, and this is the best vegan cheese ever in life. It's very expensive though, now that it's in Canada. I think it's like almost $10 for a pack of like 12 slices, which is like a dollar a slice of cheese, which is insane. But it's so good, it's so good that you can eat it by itself. You don't even need to melt it. But I'm gonna make a grilled cheese. Oh my God, I'm so hungry, I can't even handle it right now. Oh, and I have basil, so I'll put that in my grilled cheese. Okay, so everyone knows how to make grilled cheese, right? So the base of the soup that I made was just pumpkin puree and leftover uh, potatoes, and I had turnips lying around and a bunch of veggies, and I just threw it all in and made a quick soup last week. The bread that I told you I like the best, squirrely bread. Last time I had ancient grains, but this is actually the one that I prefer. Silver Hills squirrely bread. Mmm. Okay, this is the KO cheese. I don't have the package to show you, but just, it's available in Canada now, but I don't know where you live, so if you live in the States, you can already get this. Oh my God, it's so good. Look at it. It tastes like real cheese. Okay, vegan butter, it's earth balance. You butter one side. Oh, I'm putting mustard on my grilled cheese. Dijon mustard, cheese, 
please. John's gonna get so mad if I eat all this cheese, so I better not. Except I think he made one of these late last night. Oh my God, the cheese. I think I have to eat it. I can't just leave this. You can't even make anything out of this. I'm eating this piece. One piece left, uh-oh. They definitely need to make bigger packages of this cheese. Okay, I'm gonna put basil leaves in between. I guess you could fry grilled cheese in coconut oil, but seriously, it's not the same at all. So don't be crazy like that. And then on top, just like that, I cover it with a lid and I go medium heat and then I lower it to low heat and I let it go on one side and then I flip it, I cover it. Covering it just helps the vegan cheese melt. Okay, waiting for food to cook is like torture when you're starving. So look at this. I have got all these leftover cauliflower buffalo wings that we made from Hot For Food. Uh, video arriving uh, next week. And I'm just eating them cold. They're not even good. Well, they are good. We did like barbecue ones, salt and vinegar ones, and hot ones. I think my soup is ready. I can eat my soup first then. Get away. My God, I was on the verge of ruining my grilled cheese. I would have cried. Okay, here's my soup. More like a stew now. Oh yeah. You can just, uh, you don't wanna eat bay leaves, so take those bay leaves out of there. Sometimes I just like adding more green to things, so I put sprouts on stuff like that. Pepper? Shoot, look how dark it is, it's okay. It's a crispy one. Perfectly crisp. Oh, oh my God, look at the cheese. It melts. I'm telling you, if you've never tried this cheese, you must. Because you'll be addicted to vegan cheese, basically. Instead of being addicted to regular cheese. Extreme cheese close up. Hang on, let's see if I can get a. This what I ate in a day sucks because I hardly ate anything. Um, I was out and I was at my meditation group, but I didn't bring my camera because that would be disturbing. But I ate some plain chips with salt, a little bit of those, and I had three cucumber slices and three triscuits and tea. There's no footage of that to show you, but that's what I ate. But now it's, what time is it? time is it? 11? It's 11. 11 30. And here's the thing. I want to eat something, but I don't know what to eat because it's pretty late. Popcorn. Popcorn? You didn't even eat dinner. John didn't eat dinner. I, I actually have realized by doing these what I ate in a day videos that I have the worst eating habits. <laughs> but it doesn't really make a difference. I guess I've always lived my life this way. I've never been too strict with my food or anything. I do eat pretty mindlessly though. So these are homemade brownies I made for a hot for food video that will be coming out uh, in a couple weeks. Thanks, John. Tell them why I didn't eat dinner. John didn't eat dinner because he was mixing a hot for food video that we're posting uh, today that you're watching this. It takes him two and a half hours to mix the audio in our video. But then it sounds amazing. These are mini brownies. Full of sugar, vegan butter, vegan chocolate chips, and they're friggin' sick. Okay, this is the last thing I'm eating. It's actually good cross promotion because today on Hot For Food is three unique ways to use coconut milk and I have left over one of the recipes in the fridge and I'm gonna eat it now at midnight because I'm hungry. Coconut chia parfaits over on Hot For Foods channel. Go subscribe. You want some? John's asleep in bed and now he wants some. What? Okay, that's what I ate in a day. Follow Hot For Food on Snapchat to see more of what I eat.